All right, so what we're going to do on this one is replace the lower tank of this filter. Looks like someone stripped out the drain plug. So uh, this bottom half of the filter is the same for pretty much all the penters, filters, cartridge, DE, all the tanks are the same. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this breaker off. So that way it ain't turning on. And we're going to take the drain plug out. up there release Get all the water out and then take the land off Nice little flood. So get the clamp out of the way. Loosen up the unions. Lid should just lift off now. It's a good idea to take note where they have this stuff facing, but I'll probably face it a different way. Set the lid somewhere that's not dirty. Cartridge is out. It's good to have that cleaned off. Stick it back in this one. Alright, just this filter. Keep the o-ring. So that's good. Just want to make sure it's clean. Which it is. back on like that and then this guy slide out at that point put a little lube on here, it slides in nice and easy. All the way around. Mm -hmm. A new tank. Slide around back in. Um, just give them a little snug, just like that, not much. And put the filters back in, like so. on one way. We'll face their gauge toward the equipment. Seems to make more sense. Just 
what that thing is sitting on there, just barely. Oops. And if it always seems like the filter is kind of bobbling around, trying to get it on there straight, there's a little bit of a trick that you can do to get pretty much any filter to sit on here perfectly. Ooh, it's went right in the mud. Oh, that's nice. All right, so I'm gonna put this panel in service. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna fill up the filter with water. And you can do this with a hose, or I just do it with the pump at really low RPM. Until this is full. I'm just kind of slowing down the RPM right here. It just runs enough to fill this thing up with water. And when you fill it up with water, when you go to put the lid on, water creates a suction, just pulls the lid right down perfectly. This helps a lot with the smaller filters. So yeah, you can do the same thing with a hose. Just takes a little longer. Alrighty, almost there. around this bush this time, so I'm gonna sink into it. And the suction just kind of pulls it down just perfectly, so it's nice and uneven. All right. So I'll bring the clamp over here. Make it easier on the next guy. Alright. It's nice to have all your tools ready. So you're not juggling all this stuff. That stuff only goes together on one way. I explain that in a different video for cleaning your filters. Clamp goes on. Little wash first. And the rest of it. get that spring there to touch this is a new bottom so I'm gonna make sure the drain plugs nice and tight of course it's not 
hot. There we go. This system has automation, so I'm gonna put it back in auto and put it to high speed and let it prime up. Thank you. 